is J.J. McCarthy now becoming too good for us, Broncos country, and Sean Payton? Is, th- is that what's happening following the NFL Combine? Because it seems like his stock continues to be rising and rising. And while some people still consider him, and I would say the majority, still consider him to be that number four quarterback on the board, it seems like he is closing the gap. There are people continuing to be more and more excited about him. I'm going to break down my thoughts on that and how I feel like the Broncos might need to approach getting him uh, because I think that's changed over the last month or so. Again, uh, would really appreciate it if y'all hit that like and subscribe. If y'all like Daily Broncos con- content and would really appreciate it if you join me in getting to 500 subs. So let's go ahead and break this down. What inspired me to do this video was orange and blue today i listened to a lot of andrew mason and cecil lammy's podcast that's put on by denver sports they're at the combine this past week talking all things of course nfl rookie quarterbacks going into this year's draft and it seems as if jj mccarthy's status his stock is continuing to rise and If you looked at a mock draft a month and a half ago, you could see J.J. McCarthy going middle of the first. You could see him being picked at pick 12. But now I'm starting to get a little nervous, guys, that he might not be available at pick 12 for us. And that sucks because we only got six picks. We don't exactly have a ton of draft capital to trade right now. That could change depending on what happens with Justin Simmons. I've done another video on that. Y'all go check it out. But yeah, I'm I'm starting to wonder, has he kind of priced himself out of him being in striking range for our Denver Broncos? Now, I will say one good thing is that Sean Payton is very aggressive historically when it comes to the draft. He's going to go get his guy. And I, I think if... J.J. McCarthy really is his guy. The the way that Cecil Lammy and Andrew Mason put it, as if Jim Harbaugh groomed J.J. McCarthy to be the quarterback of Sean Payton's uh, you know career in Denver. Really interesting take on it, right? He's the perfect Sean Payton guy. That's how they were kind of kind of putting this whole thing together, right? Very interesting, and. I mean, I've really warmed up to the idea of J.J. McCarthy over the last month or so. I think that right now, I think he's the most likely quarterback to be in Denver if Denver selects a quarterback this year. But I think now it's becoming a little bit more difficult on what will need to happen in order for us to to get him. So let me go ahead and share my screen. I'll show you the draft order here on the PFF Mock Draft Simulator. You can see right here I was – Looking at that Justin Simmons stuff earlier on today. But you see the Broncos sit here at pick 12 here, right behind the Minnesota Vikings and New York Jets. And this is where things uh, really do get uh, kind of interesting because I think everybody's assuming that, okay, the Falcons at eight are going to be taking McCarthy and or they're going to be trained for Justin Fields and so maybe they might be a team that the Broncos could trade up with that's very true some people have brought the idea up that the New York Giants could actually be interested in McCarthy which would be a huge issue because then we would need to trade up to number five with the Chargers Jim Harbaugh is not going to do that he doesn't want to face JJ twice a year he doesn't want any of that okay he doesn't want to help out a division a, a rival opponent right So then that means, in worst case scenario, it's looking like the Broncos might need to trade up to pick four to draft the fourth quarterback off the board. (laughs) I'm hoping this isn't the case. I'm hoping uh, we just need to trade up to pick eight or nine, okay, and be able to leapfrog, I think, two teams that we definitely need to have our eyes on, being the Vikings with Kevin O'Connell, We'll see what they decide to do with Kirk Cousins. And then the New York Jets, of course, Aaron Rodgers is going to be at 40 years old or so at the end of his career. And they might want somebody in there like like McCarthy to take over for him because he's been talked a lot about a guy that needs to sit for a little bit and then can uh, you know, eventually take over. So it's looking like the Broncos might need to go as high as four to go get a guy. 
maybe I do think regardless, they will need to move up to probably pick nine as as the as the highest pick on the draft board, but might need to go as slow as pick four, right? So that's pretty interesting. If I'm the Broncos, I would try uh, I don't know. I'm thinking out loud right now. Would you rather trade picks from this year or would you rather trade more future picks, right? I think if you're moving up to pick four, you have to trade like a 2025 first or so, which isn't going to feel great. But if you get your guy, you get your guy. But then that has me wonder, guys, okay, if we're going to trade up to pick four to go get J.J. McCarthy, if, in my opinion, I would love to have Jane Daniels here. I would love to have him here. I would be pumped. Be, be pumped to have any of these guys, Drake May, Jane Daniels, Caleb Williams. When you trade up for one of those guys. But I understand J.J. McCarthy, He's he's uh, he has the highest potential out of, uh, out of this draft class with, with those guys. That's kind of how he's been talked about. And so would you rather take the guy with the highest ceiling or maybe a guy who's a little bit more quickly, uh, you know, ready to play now, so to speak? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. But I will say, compared to some of the videos that I've done on him, over the last month or so, I am a little concerned that we're not going to be able to get him at 12 right now. And we sure as heck are not going to be able to trade back, acquire more picks, and draft J.J. McCarthy. Maybe that means we're drafting Bo Nix, which, again, I just don't see with Bo Nix. I hope that doesn't happen. We'll see. Maybe we're taking a guy into the second round if we trade back or the third round. Hmm, I don't know. But right now, I'm focused on McCarthy. I've really warmed up to him. I think – the idea of Jim Harbaugh preparing J.J. McCarthy for Sean Payton is something I can really get behind. I can get behind that narrative, and it is exciting. So while a lot of opposing fans might make fun of me and my friends for being excited about J.J. McCarthy, I'm warming up to it. I would love the Broncos to go after him, and let's just hope he didn't price himself out. So y'all let me know your thoughts. Did J.J. McCarthy price himself out? Hit that like on the way out and subscribe. And as always, everybody go Broncos.